Give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, also peace, Shalom, and peace to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to go in this video here. Uh, brother sent to me. Um, it's an Instagram post. Let me hit it real quick. The Sweet Science Examiner by uh, Tank Obadiah. I don't. I'm not as, you know, this social media, I don't get into that much, but there's a lot of stuff that's shared that's, um, you know, very informative, you know, of what's going on. So, you know, this was an informative thing. And what I noticed with this Jake, you know, this Jake, um, the police said, put your hands up, one, put your hands up, two, Put your hands up. Three. So then Jake decides I'm going to turn around and put my hands up at my own time. At my own, you know, at my, at my on my own time, basically. And the cop shot him. I don't know if it was real bullets or whatever, whatever it was. So then the guy goes on the ground. First of all, he's out there with his children, the little, the little child in diapers, you know. Now, we understand and this is the problem we have at camp. It'd be guys like this that come up to us in the Egyptology, all kinds of doctrines, you name it. I, I don't heard, I don't, I'm not even going to sit here and explain. See, when we're out there teaching, the first thing Jake does is they come up and he looks at us and in his mind he feels that we're not smart and he, we're, we shouldn't know anything. So what he does is try to pull you down and they'll come in and make it seem like they know everything. And then it comes into the big argument. Now, mind you, we're minding our business, so to speak, teaching. And it's these jakes. They just walk up and they know every damn thing. But they actually know nothing. And it's all because of self-hatred. White man stands up there, so-called white man's up there preaching. And he's teaching his doctrine with white Jesus. I guarantee you, these grimy Negroes would never come up and say a damn thing. I could bet you my last few dollars on that one, man. Deuteronomy 28, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. You know, these jakes are destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, um, which he command thee, commanded thee. Okay. So this man think he had he's in power, which he's he is. He doesn't understand the most high set him up in power. Okay, to have the right. He was blessed with the sword. Now if you and if this guy was an Israelite, he would have knew known what was up. He would have known who the devil is. Okay. He would have known uh I think Matthew the fifth chapter to agree with thine adversary. He would have known 
not to be in that situation from the beginning. Because you notice when the, the tapes are rolling, these people only put, this was a minute and 45 seconds. They're not going to go back to the beginning or what actually transpired to make this situation, okay, more intolerable, so to speak. Okay, to make it more sensitive. And then when it's all heated up, then here comes the woman pulling out the camera. Here comes everybody, you know, pulling out the camera, showing the, another black man, BLM, Black Lives Matter, gets shot. Meanwhile, how can you expect the cops to even give a goddamn about you so-called Negroes when you kill each other? That's how destroyed we are. How could I have pity on any life when a life that I'm taking has no pity on, the, on one another. That's why they look at you like that. You jakes are gone, man. And we tell you, this is your way. This is your salvation. Come back to the Heavenly Father and His Son. Come back to your Bashim Yahweh Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You know? You haven't, it haven't worked. Try another way. You know what Jake does? And I'm going to tell you why Jake does it. Let's go to Isaiah 30 and 1. Now, there's also an Apocrypha when the scriptures talk about, I believe, Ezra, where the scripture says that this man is not going to spare them. Okay, maybe, Lord, will I get that in a second? Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, right? But not of me. See, they take counsel amongst themselves. They'll march They'll cry about black lives matter. Black lives matter. Meanwhile, every time, if you notice, George Floyd, Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, all these so-called jakes that got killed, notice the, the uh, murder rate go on a rise with Jake. Jake starts killing each other. His frustration. But he doesn't understand it's the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Okay? but not of me and that cover a covering, but not of my spirit, right? They're covering a covering. Let's get together. Black lives matter. Let's get together. Bloods and Crips come together, fight and unite. This is what they're doing. Bloods and Crips unite. We had a guy come to camp today that said, man, if we all came together, we could take down the white man. Good luck with that because you're not coming together, number one. But not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. And that's what these guys do. These guys come together in a new council to add sin on top of another sin. This guy is standing out there with a shirt, no shirt, shorts up, hanging down, okay, a hat on his head, baby out there in the diapers, which I have no idea what the hell is going on with that. Why this little baby's running around outside with a guy that just came from court with his papers and all that the woman screaming acting a damn fool right she's acting a fool because she's part she's part of the blame she she put up the distraction and every, all of a sudden see what you jakes don't understand is the so-called black woman gets away with it she can scream she can yell she can holler she can run her mouth cop won't shoot her but you taught your sons to be angry, to be emotional, to go crazed on cops. See, if a black woman was doing all that, putting her hand up, putting it down, you can't tell me nothing, swinging on cops, they'd grab her and put her some ties and haul her away for a couple hours. But you, Jakes, you getting a bullet. Anyway, let's get this scripture. Let's get Second Ezra, Second Ezra 16. Uh, and about, looks like 70, 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling, spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay? You good old Christians. This woman was screaming, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let's read that again. Okay, let's go to Second Ezra 16 and 70. And then let's go to 71. That's where, probably where I shall have been. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling 
and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Okay. Okay, so let's go on to Jeremiah 15 and 5. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Okay. This is why uh, the Most High expressed, pray not for this people for their good, like in Jeremiah. Okay. Let me read that. Uh, Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry of prayer for them. Neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear them. Why? Because they, at this time, they must get their judgment. Why well, pray for them? They, they ain't going to make it. Jeremiah 15, for who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Right? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask thou uh, uh, how thou doest? Nobody's going to care about you, Jake, man. And that word bemoan, means to express deep grief or distress over, to regard with displeasure, disapproval, or regret. Okay? These are all linked to Deuteronomy 28, 68. And no man shall buy you, man. No man shall redeem you. We can see hell's coming, man. And this is just the beginning. We've been saying it, you know. There's going to be many more incidents like this. Some that's not recorded. But then ultimately... It's going to get much, much harder than this, man. You Jakes, you got exactly what you got coming, man. And um, I could give a good damn, a good F about you, man. You won't listen. The Lord has just set you from de de for destruction. Judgment must begin at the house of the, uh, of the Lord, man. The house of Israel. You got to get what you Jakes got coming. That's it.